Hey everyone, how's it going? Good morning. Well, got the 7120 the Magnum hooked up to the old box drill. This is a Case IH 6200 box drill, fresh drill, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I have it on this piece here. We're going to seed some hay in here and barley. Barley's going to be the cover crop. So, uh, I've got, I'll go on this side because it's easier. I've got the alfalfa timothy mixture and the small seed attachment, ready to roll. I've got my barley with mixed in with uh, brome grass. Give her another little mix here. Brome grass likes to settle and bounce when the when the drill bounces around. And got my fertilizer. The only bad thing about this is you're only gonna do about 26 acres per drill, so it's a lot of time filling and all that. Anyway, uh, the thing I like about this drill, and I wish my drill had it, was the three inch packers. I wish I had the, the bigger press wheels. Because on my air seeder, I just, I'm really not happy with the press wheels on there. They're too skinny, not enough packing force. Uh, you can see, in, I haven't done a crop update yet, but uh, on some of the crops that I planted there, you can tell you don't get enough packing pressures when the crop comes up and the wheel tr tracks a lot better than it does in the open. Okay, well I made like a well, 150 foot stretch there just to test it here. And uh, a lot of the small seed openings, when the drill sits, spider, spiders go inside these little spouts here and they make uh, cobwebs in there spider webs and even when you blow it out with the air hose it just seems like it blows the cobwebs back in there and you got to get it filled up with seed a little bit and see which ones aren't going and then I just use this old broken welding rod and I just stick it in there give it a little whirl in there and it cleans out it's mainly cobwebs that come out of there I pull it out with my hands but now I just let the seed fall where it does seems to work best that way we used to have the hoses put on and then going into the disc rows but uh, we vote dad always has uh, just let it fall and uh, it's always seemed to work good that way so now this is actually a bad part right here didn't work out very good I had the bales stacked here but you can see there's some barley there I don't have it set very deep because I kind of wanted to do this test plus when you get out there it's soft so we don't need it too deep plus with the brome in here you can't have it the brome seated too deep either so there's some more barley there once you get into that, but you can see the alfalfa. There, once I co I'll come over this with harrows and then a land roller drum, and it'll push all this stuff down. So, well, I'm gonna continue on here. Well, that's what this ground has: nice soil, tons of rocks. It's a big, heavy, flat one. A lot of rocks in this tree part here. Sean was here yesterday with the bobcat, or day before yesterday with the bobcat. He picked out the huge ones that you couldn't lift. And uh, got rid of those and he picked up some of the small ones. But when you run the diamond arrows over ground, it 
takes the rock out of the ground, rolls it up, and leaves it on top. So, you can see them pretty easy. There's one right there. There's rocks all over here. But, uh, like I said, I'm going to get the drum land roller, push them down. You can see where the discs were scratching them. That's why I got a cushion gang disc. Okay, I'm back at the drill fill. And this is what we used to, this is what we got to fill this drill and our other drills that we had before. Because before this, you just backed up with a grain truck, tilted the box and scooped it up with a pail. Excuse me, I'm gonna sneeze. There we go. Anyway, so now I am filling up the barley and mixing the brome. So what I do is I pour a little bit of barley, pour some brome. And here's brome seed. It's very light. Like you can blow it away, it's so light. It's like dandelion. So you mix it into the barley and uh, that's a hornet, a wasp. And uh, it seeds it into the row. Uh, you could get a grass seeder and seed that separate, but for the amount we do, uh, you know, this works okay. It just takes a little while longer to fill because you gotta go in here and then you gotta mix it. You kinda want it even, you don't want the layers of it. bag here but it sure makes good hay cows love it we had one field before that was just straight brome it was on the peat moss field and uh, it grew pretty good there and the cows always like that hay so now what I do is I just put a little bit more barley now tubes. Uh, this is all runoff hydraulics, but I just got it running off the MX back there. This truck isn't set up for hydraulics. Uh, a couple of our other trucks are. Uh, the main one that we used to use it is that small truck. The motor is shot in it, so uh, we don't even bother hooking it up for as much as we use. We use this, uh, you just hook it up to the tractor. I used to hook it up to the tractor over there, but it is a pain taking the hoses over top the bill all the time so hard to do with one hand Then I go again, this out of the way, grab some bone. I usually just take the bag and pour it, but I'm just doing it by hand now. I don't remember if I said it, but we have it set up for pounds per acre that it works out to okay. it works out to uh, Uh, bag and a half per drill for for a whole fill up so you use a bag and a half so this is my half bag yet so and then I'll do that again mix it fill it up to the top and it'll be good then next it's fertilizer well it's evening now I've uh, finished up <coughs> Excuse me. I finished off uh, that field over there. <clears throat> I'm on this one. And I'm about to shut her down for the night. I'm out of alfalfa seed, so I have to go get some tomorrow. Uh, the mixture of alfalfa Timothy that we had bought was kind of not the right one. I was looking on the tag and uh, I had noticed that it was. 20% Timothy and I 
don't usually, we didn't seed that last year, we seeded, we seeded uh, 5% Timothy 95 alfalfa, so we kind of made our settings go haywire here, so we used more than we wanted to. But the drill's working pretty good, very dry. Very dry and very smoky out. A lot of dust. Very dusty. Uh, pretty much no moisture left in this stuff. You can still see there's the sod from last fall when we were plowing this. But, it's coming. I gotta fix the AC in here. It's not the AC, it's the core and the, and the roof. It's plugged every two years, we gotta blow it out. Uh, I should have did it when I was at home. I didn't know. This is the first time I've been driving this tractor, so... Uh, Sean was driving it before. And, uh... It didn't alert me that it was, uh, not blowing properly. But I think, uh, Lori was driving it first. Yeah, he, he was handling the beat. Anyway, it's gonna be done. It just gets caked in there with that fine dust. And, uh, the air can flow through the condenser. So anyway, that's about all for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and uh, leave your comments down below. We'll talk to y'all later. Look at that smoky sunset. It actually should be a lot lighter. That just goes to show you how much smoke is in the air. Dead calm.